Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Now I think I know What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen they're not listening still Perhaps they never will Hi everyone, welcome to The Pen Habit. I'm Matt Armstrong. And in case you couldn't guess from the musical interlude or from the title up above, uh, today's pen is going to be the Visconti Van Gogh Starry Night version. And uh, you caught us right in the middle of a sweltering heat wave, at least for the Pacific Northwest, it's a sweltering heat wave. So uh, excuse me if I get a little schwitzy here, but we're going to dive in and review the pen. So if you've seen my previous video on the Visconti Salvador Dali, basically this is the same pen. It The only real difference is this pen has a different color. It only has a... Uh, the, the standard bridge clip, it doesn't have the little melted clock over it. And of course, the band is a little different. This one also has a medium nib, but uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll do a quick overview of the pen itself. So, very pretty pen. This is the 18 barrel, or this is an 18 faceted barrel. Um, it is magnetic clasp with a stainless steel section. There is no ridge between the stainless steel and the barrel, so it's very comfortable to hold. It appears to be a ebonite feed, although I can't tell for sure because I'm not very good at telling the difference. Half moon breather hole on the nib, which is a steel nib. This is a fine point nib, and I'll show you how that writes in the writing section. The center band here says Starry Night on one side, on the side with the clip, and on the other side it says Van Gogh. And, of course, the spring-loaded clip for the, the bridge-style clip that is, is standard with most Visconti pens. Top has the silver Visconti logo. And, uh, in general, this is basically the same pen, which is one of the reasons why I like it as much as I do. Uh, this has actually become, e even more so than the Salvador Dali pen, this has actually become one of my favorites mainly because this pen, besides being very, very pretty, the, the acrylic on this pen is, is just stunning, uh, is also a very smooth writer and uh, just a, a really nice, well-balanced, comfortable pen to hold. It is a little small, unposted, can be posted, as I've mentioned before, um, and it works well posted. On these, I generally do them without posting them, and uh, very comfortable to write it write with. Don't really have have much more to say uh, with this pen other than what I said in the previous video about the Salvador Dali. So, rather than me prattle on even more than I already have, let's go ahead and put this pen to the test and do a little bit of a writing sample. All right, so here we are with the Visconti Van Gogh and uh, just do a quick once around so you can see what the acrylic looks like. I mean, there's quite a bit of depth. It's a very pretty acrylic, particularly like the uh, swirled yellow that is in here. Obviously, this is based on Salvador Dali's, excuse me, I keep saying Salvador Dali. Obviously, this is based on Van Gogh's Starry Night, which is why it's called Starry Night. There's also one called Portrait of an Artist and one called a room in Arles based on the paintings of the same name. And uh, you can see they, they got the palette pretty correct, actually. So beautiful pen, 
Here's a bridge clip with Visconti on either side. You can see Starry Night there, and on the back of the pen, Van Gogh. So, very pretty pen. Let's dive in and see what we've got. This is the Visconti. Van Gogh. Starry Night. We are using a steel nib. This one, unlike the Salvador Dali I have, is in a fine point rather than a medium point. And we are using for ink Private Reserve. Ebony Blue. And this is an ink I have used a little bit. I'm just using a sample of it right now. I have to say I'm not in love with this ink, but it's a nice color if you like that your blue blacks to have a little bit of green in them. I generally like to have my blue blacks with a little bit more gray or black and not so much green. But uh, in any case, let's do a quick writing sample. All right, so a little uh, shout out there to uh, Don McLean for his uh, his lyrics to the song Vincent, Starry Starry Night. So, in terms of writing, much like the Dali, this pen is exceptionally smooth, especially for a fine point nib. I generally go with a medium point nib, that's my nib of preference, but uh, for a fine point nib, this one writes very, very smoothly, and uh, I don't really have many problems with skipping or with uh, really any any problems you'd have, starting issues. You might have noticed right there the T, there was a little bit of a, a skip that had more to do with the pressure I wasn't using. This, this, ink, or this requires very little pressure to write. Um, in terms of wetness, I do find that this tends to be a little bit drier, and I think that actually may have more to do with the ink I'm using than with the pen but it's, it's still fairly wet, especially for a fine point nib. In terms of line variation, there is a little bit, um, a little bit more than we saw with the medium, but again, this is a steel nib. It's not, you're not going to be expecting much line variation because it's not a flexible nib by any stretch of the imagination. So you can see just a little bit of line variation, but it's not much, certainly more than we saw in the medium on the Salvador Dali. Uh, in terms of upside down writing, this one works very well. Also, not quite as fine a line as we saw on the Salvador Dali, but still fine enough. And it doesn't seem to, you know, it tends to run out of ink after a little while, but then after that, it works just fine. So in general, again, I really like this pen. I've been using this pen with this ink for a few weeks now, and I really haven't had any problems. Because it is a finer line pen, this works really well for me for notes or journals, things where I can't, where I have to flip the page quickly while I'm taking notes, and uh, and I don't want to have problems with ink. You know, it it dries pretty rapidly because it is a finer line pen. So, in general, I really enjoy the pen. The same thing I liked with the Dali. I love with this in that there's no line demarcation between the section in the barrel, and so you can hold it really anywhere you'd like to. So again, I really enjoy this pen. It's become one of my one of my favorites, and I got a much better, had a much better reaction to this pen than I did to the Homo sapiens in bronze that I got, which was two reviews ago. So in general, like the pen, love the color of the acrylic. I think it's beautiful, and I think it, it matches very perfectly. 
And I really wouldn't mind getting the other two Van Gogh pens either, the Ruman Arles or Portrait of an Artist. So thank you very much once again for watching these videos, and I should be back soon with another review or two for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here soon. Bye.